Hello, and welcome to another episode of Momentum. I'm your host, Philip Allison. Our guests today are Amy Barton, the coordinator of the Shackles Technical Communication Program, and Alexis Nordin, an instructor in the Technical Communications Program. Guys, thanks for joining us. Good to be here. Yeah. So for people who may not be aware, um, engineering is not necessarily known for its, its writing and communications aspects. It's, mm -hmm. it's more heavily focused on math and science. but. Maybe tell us a little bit about what the, the program involves. Well, interestingly, that's what makes our program so unique. We are a writing program within the College of Engineering. And our main job is to teach technical writing, which is a junior, senior level writing course required of all engineering majors. But we also offer writing support throughout the College of Engineering. We visit classrooms, we conduct workshops, we talk to freshman students, we talk to graduate students. We help instructors design writing assignments and rubrics. So we really support writing throughout the engineering curriculum. Oh wow, that's fascinating. I didn't realize that it was every single engineering student. So everybody who comes out with an engineering degree has had this program. They have yes. made it through our course. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and how long has this program been in existence? Well, it was developed in 1999, and it was primarily developed for the technical writing course. But over the years, we've grown along with the College of Engineering, and we've expanded to lots of support within the engineering departments. We're, our main purpose is really to coordinate closely with the engineering department so that we, we offer the skills, the writing experience that their students really need to succeed in the workplace. And over the years, we've also started a writing tutor program. Our writing tutors are English or communication undergraduates, and they work with engineering students on any writing assignment that they have in any of their courses. Oh, so not just the engineering classes. Exactly, exactly. Gotcha. And so with every engineering student who has to take this class, I'd imagine, Alexis, you guys have a variety of sections. And um, are all the sections the same, or, or how do they, they vary at all? Well, uh, a lot of the sections are the same, but some of them are more specific to certain departments. So we have a civil section, we have an honor section, and one section that I teach is for, it's, it's technical writing for um, the electrical and computer engineering students who are taking senior design one. Mm -hmm. So they take a little bit different section of technical writing in that we focus on the documents and deliverables that they need to do related to their senior design project. So it's a little bit different for them. So do the students have some flexibility as to which course they sign up for or are they kind of locked into based on what their, their major is? Well, the electrical and computer engineering majors have to take technical writing with their senior design course, mm -hmm. um, but the other students have some flexibility. Mm -hmm. and our civil engineering section is just for civil engineering majors, and the assignments are more focused on civil engineering topics. And we also have an honors section that honors students are not required to take, but if they would like honors credit for our course, then they can take it. And it's really similar to the other sections, but they have a self-directed project. They have a wide range of options to choose from, but it allows them to talk about their own research that they may, may be involved in or their areas of focus within their disciplines. So it's a little bit more focused on, on kind of their own particular educational needs. Exactly. For their honors project, they might choose to do a literature review. They might write a research paper. They might do an instructional video on something that they're an expert at um, or a three-minute thesis that they might present to the class. Oh, wow. So I was going to ask, is the class primarily lecture-based? Is it project-based? Kind of maybe talk through the specifics of the class. It's both. We do a lot of lecture, but we also do a lot of projects and the students work, um, they work on some, they do, it's not just writing, they do writing assignments and some of those are done individually and some are done collaboratively, like um, big research papers that they work on as teams that they sort of culminate in, um, in a lot of the lessons that we talk about throughout the semester and so they turn in those research papers at the end as groups. But then they also do presentations for their course, and those are usually done in teams. So we, we, I would say it's probably a 50-50 mix of uh, lecture-based and project-based. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that the, kind of the shorthand for the class is tech writing, but I would imagine, uh, as you mentioned, it's more than just writing. It is. That's one of the ways that we've expanded over the years. What we've learned is that 
engineers to succeed in the workplace, they need a whole range of communication experiences. And that could mean anything from formal presentations and formal documents to talking about email or teamwork, all of the communication challenges that go into something like teamwork. We also do infographics with them where they get into teams and they design infographics to introduce a technical topic in an engaging and efficient way to a wide audience. So we challenge them to think about all the different ways that they need to excel at communication. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, that's fascinating. You just wouldn't expect that from an engineering program, but that, like you said, that's such a great um, option for our students. Mm -hmm. um, if just, we're going to take a short break. Just stick around and we'll be right back. When you're the best, everyone wants to see what you'll do next. At Mississippi State University, our team of world-class rocket engineers is venturing beyond boundaries, building rockets like none before. We're launching a new era of space exploration. We've developed cutting-edge technology that's helping us build a rocket that can travel at four times the speed of sound. Fast? Yes. But more importantly, revolutionary. For you and for a space program that produces many of the conveniences we enjoy today. We're shaping your life in ways you never dreamed. What's next? Watch us and see. What drives you? What pushes you forward? Is it an appetite to be the best or a calling to make a difference? For those of us here at Mississippi State University, it's both. We're designing a future where cutting edge hybrid technology isn't imported from overseas, but exported from our own backyard. We're working toward a day when solutions to energy independence move at zero to 60 in 5.5 seconds and are as simple as charging a phone. A day when fuel economy and environmentally friendly are viewed as less of a compromise and look more like this. For us, turning heads in the auto industry is great, but living up to the hype is even better. That's because it's about more than simply envisioning the future. It's about getting there. And here at Mississippi State, we know just the ride to take. Welcome back. We're here with Amy Barton and Alexis Nordine talking about the Shackle Technical Communications Program. When you think about engineering, as we kind of mentioned, you don't necessarily think about um, writing and communications, but why is it important for engineering students to kind of have these skills as they go out into the workforce? Um, well, the, the Washington Post ran a pretty good article a few years ago talking about the need for more STEM majors, but also particularly the need for more STEM majors with a liberal arts background and liberal arts training because it was talking about really how st we're trying to work on students whole professional persona and so for that if you think about some of the principles that we teach you know we teach our students to think about problems creatively and we teach collaboration and communication and you know help them work on their critical thinking when we talk about ethics and that sort of thing so it really kind of it it translates to any type of position they may find themselves in. So um, we think that the principles of good writing, solid writing, being clear and concise and um, accurate, that sort of thing would really uh, follow them into whatever kind of profession they may go into. Um, engineering, of course, but some of our students end up in medical school or law school, and so hopefully that, that those will be skills that will serve them well for their whole life. Yeah, it gives them, sounds like it gives them a, a fairly broad base in terms of, of what they can do going forward, and as you mentioned, it's good skills to have. Right, exactly. So um, I know Dr. Keith, the dean of, of the Bagley College of Engineering, is very high on the program, and he mentions that employers who come and recruit our students are, are very high on the program, and it kind of sets our students apart. Have you guys kind of seen that with people that finish the class and go out into the workforce? Mm -hmm. We have. As Alexa said, the professional persona that we talk to students about developing, they see that throughout their curriculum. And it's not just our program. Really throughout the College of Engineering, faculty are really interested in incorporating writing, communication assignments, and emphasizing to the students how important that is. And we hear that from employers. We hear from 
employers at the career fair, that they're so impressed with our students, with their writing skills, with their speaking skills, just impromptu walking up and starting a conversation and telling them a little bit about what they're interested in and who they are as a prospective employee. And it makes us feel so proud of this program, but also just to be part of the College of Engineering. Mm -hmm. um, have you guys run into any situations where a student maybe kind of said, oh, I wasn't sure about this class, but I, I realize how important it's been mm -hmm. For me. It happens all the time. We all hear it at the end of a semester. A student will say, I was dreading this class and mm -hmm. I really didn't buy into the importance of it, but by the end, it you showed me that it was important. And often they'll go and have a co-op or internship experience and then they'll come into class knowing that it's important. They'll say, I spent so much time writing and speaking and I really want to make these skills better. So it's so gratifying when we see that from students. And just personally, I had a student who graduated several years ago. And last semester he contacted me and he's working as an engineer, but he's also going into local schools and helping with their STEM education. And he was asking if he could use some of our course materials, which was just so exciting to me that he's actually teaching some of this. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. And you know that the, the, the lessons have, have stuck. Yeah, If right. he's looking for the same material, that, that's pretty great. Um, I know as someone with a communications background that if I had to go into a, a science or engineering class, I would need a lot of help. Mm -hmm. um, do you find that kind of in reverse with engineering students? Are they a little nervous um, about coming into a writing program or a mm -hmm. communications program? And I guess what kind of support is available for those students? Okay. I think uh, some of the students are really nervous because it, it might have been a while since they've had like a composition class, English Comp 1 or 2 might have been several years ago or they might have taken it in high school and, and sort of clipped out of it. Um, and then I think they're also nervous about the presentation aspect of the class. Okay. Some of them are, um, they do have to kind of break through that, um, that nervousness when it comes to presenting in front of the group. So we do try to provide some good support with them, especially through our writing tutor program. So we have writing tutors, and actually I started out as an undergraduate um, as a writing tutor in the program. So that's a, that's a good way for them to actually interact with our tutors, um, who have English backgrounds and um, English major backgrounds and who can help them with the grammar and the mechanics to get through the class successfully. And also they can practice speaking with them and brainstorm with them about the topics that they're uh, researching. So they, the tutors can help a lot. Yeah, so it sounds like if they don't feel very confident in this area, there's support for them. Yes, absolutely. To kind of absolutely. help them succeed. Um, well, we're kind of close around out of time, but maybe what advice will you give to these students who may be coming into the class and who don't know quite what to expect and who might be a little nervous about it? Well, I think that one message that we really emphasize is writing is design. The skills that they bring to their design, those are the skills that we want them to use in, in a document. We want them to think about, define the problem, see it as a process though. You're constantly improving, you're getting feedback, you're ensuring that it works well for your audience. And if they can channel those skills into writing, They'll be great at it. Okay. Well, thank you so much. That's all the time we have for today. Remember, you can follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.